Okay, well, you know, Scotland is a nature rich, rugged awash with evocative vistas and pockets of untainted land and diverse habitats. Praised as one of Europe's leading wildlife destinations. The adventures range from wild camping to whale watching, and the list goes on and on. So, you know, in the class today, we'll sample some of the Smokos board of natural heritage and do a little bit of exploring of, uh, of the Scottish countryside. So with the view that conservation is key, and you'll see that in a video that I'm going to show you during the class, just how serious they take their conservation. Um, Scotland exceeds its status as an ecotourism paradise. Oh my goodness, it, it really is a lovely place. Um, even if you do it virtually and go and explore it like we're going to do today, you will see just how beautiful the country is. So to witness the, the majesty of the marine world, you would head to the Scottish islands and choose from a mirrored whale watching tours. There are many of them and the reasons are because of the variety of the Scottish seas with uh, known to have uh, the humpback and the mink and the sperm and the killer, and the pilot and fin whales. Okay. Um, where do you get a list like that um, anywhere else um, in a country? So absolutely, uh, whale watching is something that you would definitely do if you went to. You can do it. Don't have to go onto the seas. I know some of you get seasick. Okay, um, but you don't have to go on a boat. You can see it from the land as well. Okay, look at that dolphin. Okay, is it that beautiful? Okay, um, and you can do dolphin watching tours as well. Okay, and um, Scotland's wildlife community isn't limited to the whales or, and the dolphins and the bashing sharks. Um, the charming seaside town of uh, North Berwick, for example, boasts the Scottish Seaberg Centre and the Bass Rock, the world's largest single rock colony of northern gannets that you see there. You know, an author, uh, what do you call them, sort of a, a dream for people that, uh, orthology, orthology, isn't it? People who love birds, okay? It's, this is their dream. So the glacial white hues of this rock are due to the droppings made by the 150,000 plus gannets and other seabirds that you would see um, if you went there, okay? Um, and the sky is a, is a stomping ground for otters, okay? The Orkney Islands are awash with birds, porpoises, and seals. And the Cairngorms play host to golden eagles, <laughs> pine marten, deer, badgers, even Scottish wildcats famed as the big tree country. Perthshire is home to a promising number of rare red squirrel, squirrels, okay, and also red cuts. Species that almost fell victim to extinction at one point. Um, but because of the Scots, of who they are, the people they are, um, they won't allow anything to go in the to extinction, okay? Um, let's just listen to some, a uh, little bit of good old Scottish music while taking a tour of the island uh, in Orkney. All right. Let's see.
absolutely beautiful. And uh, yeah, I, I see a lot more people have joined class. So welcome to you all as well. Uh, <laughs> having a look at Scotland, okay? Uh, any of you would like to visit Scotland, perhaps? Is it on your bucket list or not at all? Yes, Michael, it's on our bucket list. Okay, who was that? Uh, <laughs> okay, I missed who it was, but uh, yeah, it's certainly on my bucket list particularly when we go to Ireland as well. Um, got to go back to the ancestors. As I said, the Campbells were my ancestors and uh, there's an enormous big castle there that was the Campbell's castle. Um, so let's move on. There are lots of natural wonders as well in Scotland. You know, some awe-inspiring, many otherworldly, Okay, uh, Scotland is filled with natural masterpieces set to make even the wildest Im imagination churn. So the work of Mother Nature herself, you know, this that you see in the image there, Fingal's Cave, inspired the likes of Pink Floyd and Queen Victoria with its mind-blowing bustle columns and symmetrical a proudness and natural acoustics. Boat tours enable exploration of this ionic cave, which basks on the uninhabited island of Staffa. Okay. There we can look at it closely. So step inside this geometrically stunning Fingal's Cave. Okay. The distinct basalt column of Fingal's Cave are the result of ancient lava flows and geological pressure. So though known for its unique natural design, the cave is perhaps most famous for its acoustics. Writers and musicians from Keats to Pink Floyd have long been inspired by the cave's echoes. 